You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text on Glossa House TV. I am Michael Halcom and this is an episode of Three Things where I share with you three things that I'm thinking about. All right, the first thing that I want to share with you about um, has to do with changes. And I think I mentioned this in the previous Three Things episode, but um, we are cutting back on some episodes or segments within the podcast. And we're doing that with three things as well. So um, one change that we're making is uh, getting rid of this, at least for some time. And... um, That means that this is the last episode of three things that we're going to air at least for a while. So that's the first thing that I want to share with you. We'll still have more podcasts. Uh, We're we're trying to move to like a one a day format. And there'll be like um, uh, several of the segments linked together into just one episode a day. Uh, So you still get most all of the same things you're already getting, but in just one listen or one view, one watch. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing that I want to share with you is that I've started a new blog or a new sub stack. And uh, it's only been live for a few days now. Um, it's already doing well. It's growing. So I'd encourage you to head over and uh, subscribe to that if you uh, you know, are into that kind of thing. If you like reading and you'll get those sent. If you subscribe, it'll go right to your email. So it's just tmichaelwhalcom.substack.com, or you can go to michaelhalcom.com and see it up in the menu. I have an um, article on there about should Christians be mad in light of all the stuff that you know has gone down at the Olympics, or particularly uh, those few seconds in the opening ceremony scene of the Olympics. Should Christians be mad? I think you might find that interesting. And then I have one about um, Nazarene figures without courage. So uh, that's... Uh, the second thing that I want to share with you, this new Substack slash blog that I've got going on. And um, like I said, it's already doing well. It's already uh, growing well. So I encourage you to head over and check that out. Um, and the final thing that I want to do is point you one last time to um, glossahouse.com. We have uh, Glossa House U over there with a new class coming up. We have Glossa House TV and uh, the Glossa House Digital Libraries that you can subscribe to. Um, we have that Jesus and the Soul coming up. We also have Early Ethiopic that just released. I, By the way, I just did an interview with Dr. Robert Holmstead on that, so you should check that out on the podcast as well, um, and Glossa House TV. We have Mike Beck's uh, First John uh, Reader, or In Your Linear, uh, Mario Melendez's Daily Devotions in the Biblical Languages. Um, Yeah, so I hope, well, you know, another plan that we've had is to uh, begin trying to give ebook access to individual ebooks at Glossa House. We we haven't had the manpower to make that happen yet, but that's a goal. I don't know when it's going to happen, but, you know, stay tuned. You need to subscribe to our newsletter so you can find out about that and follow us on social media because we'll probably talk about it there. But Those are three things that I'm thinking about. For those of you who have been watching these three things episodes or listening to them for, you know, a couple years or so now, I appreciate it. Thanks for doing that. Keep tuning in to Glow House TV um, and the Proof Text podcast. We're going to keep going just a little bit of a different format. Um, So a lot of the great, uh, same great stuff, but just a little bit of a different format. All right, my friends, uh, I'm going to stop there and say I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glossa House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.